Hi! Welcome back to The Swarm. Thanks for joining us. It has been 50 years since NASA first put man on the moon. So, today we are looking to the stars to examine the feasibility of sustainable space travel. There has been a recent eruption in spacefaring craft, including several companies working to be the first to offer space tours, and the huge commitment from SpaceX to send astronauts to Mars. But will this be a sustainable endeavor? How large of a carbon footprint will this have? Each launch requires an enormous amount of propellant to create the thrust for the large payload, and current technology has nothing on the horizon with the potential to compete with fossil fuels. Let's take a look at the new SpaceX Falcon Heavy to analyze a high-level carbon footprint of each round trip. The design of the Falcon Heavy is the combination of three first-stage Falcon 9 rockets, core, and heavy boosters, housing 27 Merlin engines and aluminum-lithium alloy tanks containing liquid oxygen and rocket-grade kerosene RP1, propellant. Although earlier rockets that took us to the moon exceeded the Falcon Heavy capacity, currently this rocket delivers the largest payload into space. What about the design, fabrication, testing, and launch preparations? SpaceX has committed a lot to their space program. They have leased three launch sites, with a Texas site due for completion in 2019, as well as two test facilities. We can base the emissions from these sites on studies of the aero industry, but as they have designed reusable components, this approach will spread the upfront emissions across a many number of flights. For now, we don't know exactly how many launches of the Falcon Heavy will record over the program's lifetime. Looking at the ambitious goal of launching into space every two weeks, the added potential of the Mars Dragon project and using a nominal lifespan of 15 years, we can estimate the final emissions of the support infrastructure to be no more than 200 tons of CO2 per launch. Using the fuel estimates for the Falcon Heavy when sent in a low Earth orbit, we can calculate the operational carbon footprint. Not all of the burnt propellant will immediately turn into carbon dioxide. However, after a month, the leftover carbon monoxide in the atmosphere will oxidize further to become CO2. So, taking a complete propellant burn, we find the carbon emissions for each flight at 1,420 metric tons and rising to 1,600 metric tons once we add upfront emissions, including our design, fabrication, testing, and pre-launch operations. The total maximum payload for Falcon Heavy is 64 metric tons, that's 141,000 pounds, sent into low Earth orbit. Other flights, like Highly Elliptical Orbit (HEO), Geosynchronous Transfer Orbit (GTO), and Earth Escape Trajectories, will use more propellant and carry a smaller payload. However, the carbon formed outside of our atmosphere is not considered a greenhouse gas. For a year of space travel, that would require 49,600 forest acres to sequester the carbon from the atmosphere three times less than the carbon footprint for the U.S. president in 2018. For some more perspective, 183 Tesla Model S would save that amount of CO2 emissions over a standard combustion vehicle in one year. In 2018, Tesla delivered 244,920 vehicles, removing nearly 2 million metric tons of CO2 emissions from the atmosphere. Using finite resources to power spaceflight has issues. What happens once all our fossil fuels are exhausted? How do we travel further distances when currently the payload is 5% of what is carried in fuel? But we should be encouraging spacefaring companies to overcome these issues. Since NASA was formed in 1958, it has continually contributed to technologies that we use every day. 
Some of these include solar cells, space blankets, water purification, food safety, air scrubbers, enriched baby food, cordless vacuums, and even LASIK. The advancements in technology will need to be significant to expand space travel, and these innovations will be a welcome resource in our transition to sustainability. Thanks for joining us! Don't forget to subscribe to The Swarm. See you next time. To infinity and beyond!